Hi, my name is Effie Davis, International Artistic Director for Tony and Guy and Label M. And welcome to the London Tony and Guy Flagship Academy, where we are shooting our brand new collection, The Legacy. The Legacy is a collection that is dedicated to the one and only Tony Mascolo, the man that has brought us together as a family. What we have done this year with the Legacy Collection is we broke it down in three elements. We've got the vintage, we've got the contemporary, and of course, we've got the creative. And with these all three elements, what we have done, we broke it down again to the perimeter, the interiors, and of course, the detail. When it comes to the haircut that I'm gonna be demonstrating for you, is actually I'm gonna be working with the perimeter element, and of course, in the contemporary feel. I'm going to be working with a mid-length shape, quite rounded, not very strong, very textured throughout the perimeter, working with a beautiful G-drop that's going to overlap nice and round. So let's have a look at the step-by-step. -step. Profile parting is taken into a curved teardrop section from in front of the crown to above the occipital area. The size of the teardrop can be adjusted depending on the density of the hair and how much you wish to graduate. The sides were subdivided using diagonal forward sections. Starting at the front, a diagonal forward section is taken on both sides to create a triangle. This triangle is where she starts to establish the face framing technique through the front area. She stands in front of the model and the hair on both sides is over directed to the centre and the line is point cut at graduation level to create texture and softness. She carries on working with the second triangle section. The hair is elevated at graduation level and the hair is over directed to the centre to create a soft rounded feeling at the front. The hair is point cut. The shape is a mid-length, rounded shape that sits softer around the perimeter to create a movable, graduated feeling. Parallel diagonal forward sections are taken and by standing at the stationary point, in this case right in front of the model, the section is over-directed to the centre and point cut to follow the guide. The same method is repeated until reaching the top of the ear. You can see how by over-directing the hair forwards, a rounded area is created through the front. This technique was repeated on the opposite side, with each section being elevated at graduation level, brought into the centre and point cut to create a graduated, rounded feeling. Notice the change of finger positioning on this side. The back is then released. This is where the graduation will be placed. Starting from the profile, the section is elevated on a graduation level and point cut from the baseline up.
diagonal forward sections are continued until reaching the curve of the head. Each diagonal forward section is over-directed to the previous to slightly build up length and weight. The layers around the front create softness, whilst the graduation at the back enhances the shape by creating weight. Once the curve of the head is reached, pivoting diagonal forward sections are taken, The hair is held at graduation level and point cut to create a soft, rounded shape behind the ear. Pivoting diagonal sections are taken until reaching the top of the ear and each section is combed to a stationary level of graduation and point cut for softness. These pivoting sections prevent you from building up too much length behind the ear and allow a guide length for the perimeter to be created so that you can later blend the shape that was previously cut in front of the ear. The hair is cross-checked visually. She's looking for a soft, rounded shape behind the ear. This was repeated on the opposite side. Moving on to the teardrop section, the hair is subdivided using a profile parting. Starting from the bottom, diagonal back sections are taken. The hair is elevated at a graduation level, comb T to the parting and point cut. Parallel diagonal back sections are continued. Each section is held at a stationary level of graduation and point cut to follow the guide. The teardrop graduation sits below the occipital bone in order to follow the head shape. Note, to add more body and softness to the shape, the last section is cut at a higher elevation. The hair is visually checked. The same technique is repeated on the opposite side. Working with the same elevation and distribution until the teardrop section is completed. It's important to stand parallel to the section to maintain the distribution, which in this case is T to the parting. The completed teardrop section is again visually checked. Taking visual diagonal forward sections, the front and back are blended using a slice cutting technique. 
over directing each section to behind the ear. The slice cutting technique uses the open blade of the scissor to slide through the hair, creating separation and added texture with a visual blend in this case. The same technique is repeated on the other side. Now the technique is completed and ready for the blow dry. The Label M Protein Cream is worked throughout the hair. It contains the unique Rejuvenate technology, which moisturizes the hair and also smooths the cuticle. The Volume Foam is a very light product, which creates a film around the hair to add thickness and volume. The Label M dryer and grooming brush are used to smooth through the cuticle and surface of the hair a little more. Next, the hair is combed to the natural full and the perimeter is detailed using a point cutting technique. triangular section is taken to the corner of the eyebrows on both sides. The profile section is taken in the fringe and the hair is elevated at 90 degrees and point cut square, creating a disconnection from the rest of the shape. The remaining hair in the fringe is blended with the profile guide to create a strong V shape. Using a deep parallel point cutting technique, the hair is personalised throughout. The perimeter is then softly point cut to remove the excess length. The Label M texture volumizing spray is worked into the hair to create a drier movement, allowing the separation to take place with a matte finish. This is the completed contemporary perimeter technique for the Legacy Collection. The attitude of the haircut takes its inspiration from the mid-90s skater girl, just with a more contemporary finish. The muse behind this look is Chloe Sevigny, and the attitude behind the texture is the X-Girl, a brand that the godmother of grunge, Kim Gordon, created. Using this as an inspiration, and most importantly, placing a contemporary take on the X-Girl, this makes the cut really relevant with current trends.